Seema, thanks so much. And Michael Skipwork, thank you for joining us today. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks for having me, Kate. So Seema just mentioned deflation that you're experiencing. We don't hear that every day. Bone-in wing prices, about half of what they were last year. How does this put you at a competitive advantage in this market? That's right. It puts us in a really unique spot. Wings hit an all-time high in 2021 at $3.22 a pound. Fast forward to today, we're at $1.63 a pound. The cash flows for our brand partners, our franchisees are really strong. And it really puts us in a unique place to where, like other brands that are navigating inflation, who might likely have to take price in order to manage their margins, we can actually lean into the deflation that we're enjoying in our business and potentially give that back to a value-sensitive consumer in the form of value that would allow us to continue to grow our business and drive top-line growth. Tell us more about what that looks like. Are you discounting at all yet for consumers as a result? Will that be an option in the future? What's the value proposition for a consumer to come to Wingstop versus a Chipotle, a Domino's, a Papa John's? Yeah, we've, we've actually been able to navigate multiple economic cycles. 2021 marked our 18th consecutive year of positive same-store sales growth. And so as we think about that playbook that's allowed us to navigate some of those cycles, we lean into value and value in the form of bundles. And we have a bundle that's out there right now called a boneless meal deal, which is at a $15.99 price point, 20 boneless wings, four flavors, two dips, and a large French fry that can feed two to three people. And so as guests engage with our brand, they see that as meaningful value. And when they engage with Wingstop, it's not like other QSR brands who have an average frequency of, call it four to five times a week. That can be where you see consumers pull back our average frequency is once a month or three times a quarter. And so guests will almost feel like they've earned that indulgent occasion with Wingstop. And that bundle is associates value in their minds. And so it allows us to retain those visits and continue to drive top line growth. And delivery is so important to your business model in particular. Are you experiencing any hurdles with driver shortages? We were just talking about that in the last hour of programming. And also, are people pulling back at all as delivery does get more expensive and they start to evaluate where they want to spend their money? That's right. Today, delivery represents roughly 25% of our business. And to date, we haven't really seen a pullback. And we haven't seen issues with the performance of, of driver availability. We leverage third-party delivery provider uh, a partnership there to, to provide that service. And we haven't seen any performance issues to date. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.